Can I talk about something? We know that there are demons everywhere, right? Everywhere. And we know that, or we should know, that demons have power. So what is keeping demons from destroying us all? We have to know that demons hate everyone. Demons hate each other. So people who are, how can I say this? People who are serving demons, you have to know that demons don't even like you. So if demons don't like us and they don't like each other, how are we still alive on this earth? And you may already know the answer. It is because of God. So we are under the mercy and grace of God. So what if you know about God and you continue to sin? We don't know the day or time when we are going to die. We are under God's mercy and grace, right? But when you choose to sin, you are allowing demons a foothold to your life. How long is God's mercy with us? God may have more mercy on me than he has on another person. God may have more mercy on you than he has with me. So in saying that, you are really gambling each time when you sin. We have to know that demons are everywhere. I know I was talking to this one person and this one person told me that all the demons are in hell. Give me a second, please. He told me that all the demons are in hell. Now, if that is true, why is there so much chaos on this world, in this world? Why are so many bad things happening in this world. Think about Adam and Eve. When did the chaos begin to happen? After Satan came and tempted Eve and made her and Adam sin against God. That is when the chaos began to happen, when it started to happen. When you choose to sin, like I know the way that I used to be, I would say to myself, you know, yes, I know what I am going to do is a sin, but let me repent afterward. But how do we know that God is going to have mercy on us after we sin? We are just guessing, right? We don't really know. And so many people die. So many young people die. What if they said the same thing as that? Let me just repent after I do what I want to do. Then when I get home, I will repent afterward. But who is to say that you are going to get home safe? Have you thought about that? When you sin, you are taking a chance. Let's say that you are in war. Would you go to war with no helmet, nothing to protect your chest and your upper body? Would you go out there barefooted 
Would you go out in war with no gun and stuff like that? When you choose to sin, you are going to war with nothing, with no equipment. There is a chance that you may survive when you don't bring any boots or no weapon, no, no type of thing to protect your upper body. You may survive, but who would go to war with no gun? Why would you go to war with no boots? Why would you go to war with no helmet? or anything to protect yourself. That is quite foolish, right? But that is what you are doing when you are choosing to sin. We are in a constant war. The only thing that is holding back demons is God. And when you are choosing to sin, who is to say how long God is going to have mercy on you? You have to know that God is against sin. He punishes sin. How long is God going to have patience on you? Well, Kevin, you know, my mother lived until she was 60 and my dad lived until he was like 70 and my grandma lived until she was 65. So that means I have until 60 or so to get my life right because I know that I will live until then. Who is to say that you are going to live that long? In war, everyone does not survive. Everyone does not live as long as everyone else. Have you thought about that? God may have more mercy on other people and have less mercy on others. So who is to say how long you are going to survive? Have you thought about that? So yes, you may want to have sex before marriage. Yes, you may want to steal. Yes, you may want to curse a person out. Yes, you want to do something lustful or whatever else. But is it worth it? To be honest, sometimes thoughts comes to my mind to do things that I used to do. Like, hey, you know, just do it this one time and repent afterward. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I pray that this makes sense. You don't know how much mercy God is going to have for you. There are kids, people who are dying at the age of 16, 18, in their 20s, 30s, and stuff like that, and you are out here knowing that you are doing wrong, but you are taking that chance. When demons are everywhere. Every so often, let me say this, every so often, God allows me to see certain things. I don't see a whole lot, you know, there may be people who get to see so many more things, but with me, every so often, I am allowed to see some things, and most of the time, I don't like seeing it, but God opens me up to it, so I can see certain things, and look. What if you could see the demons everywhere? We have to know that demons are everywhere. Even while you are looking at this video, even while I am speaking, I am quite certain that demons are watching us. When you clean up, demons are watching you. 
when you are taking a shower or using the bathroom, demons are watching you. When you are talking to your friends, your parents and stuff like that, demons are watching you. They are watching you all day, all night. If angels are here, demons are here too. Do you believe that God is only going to allow angels to be here? What is the point of allowing angels to protect us if all the demons are not around us? What is the point? What is the point of having a guardian angel if demons are not around us? Have you thought about that? <laughs> you are really playing around if you are choosing to sin when you know that you are doing wrong when you are purposely purposely sinning so I pray that this makes sense get your life straight right now I'm telling you if demons could have their way right now all of us would be dead easily myself I should have died back when I was like 12 easily so many car accidents that should have happened that I should have been hit by a car so many times it is insane so many times and in other ways as well and many of those times I was in sin. So you can say that God had mercy on me or has mercy on me. Like I said before, who is to say if you are going to have or if God is going to have the same amount of mercy that he has for me, how do you know that he is going to have mercy on you the same as well? We don't know that. I don't know how much mercy God is going to have for me if I go back to sin. So why should I take that chance? Have you thought about that? So really take this to heart. I'm serious now. God bless.